the Telangana government has come to power on the basis of several promises. In fact, Telangana was created as a state because of you know, regional imbalances. Regional imbalances in terms of comparison with Andhra to Telangana. And in fact, you know, if you look at you know, the history of Telangana movement, 60 years, students and several other groups, marginalized sections have been fighting for Telangana. Going back into history of 1969 movement, for about you know, 360 students were killed. And what was their demand at that point of time? They want more and more educational opportunities and more and more jobs for the people of this particular region. And then again, Telangana movement continued and then 2014, Telangana was created. When Telangana was created, the Telangana Rashtra Samiti, which came to power, had made several promises. And unfortunately, again, they are going for elections now without Im even implementing a single promise. What is one of the major promises you know, they have made? Because this region does not have proper educational institution. There is an enormous amount of inequality in education and the corporate sector and the corporate schools and corporate colleges have been dominating this region. And a lot of them you know, from coastal Andhra who came and invested in establishing schools and colleges in this part of the region in Telangana. That's why there was no access to education. So the TRS government made a promise that KG to PG they will offer a free education. They will offer free education. This KG to PG free education has not been implemented even 1%. Live alone on the implementation of KG to PG free education, several government schools have been closed. Several government schools have been closed. There are 13 universities in Telangana. Not a single recruitment of a lecturer or a professor has been made in these 13 universities in the last four and a half years you know, after it came to power. Instead of... Uh, uh, establishing government schools instead of strengthening government education, the family itself went about you know, establishing corporate uh, schools. Chandrasekhar Rao family established you know, a corporate uh, school and a corporate college uh, called Vela City. And in the process, you know, several other uh, uh, institutions which have been established by from coastal Andhra, all of them you know, got uh, strengthened in the process you know, KG to PG education has not been implemented in any manner. When we are talking about you know, KG to PG education in terms of you know, undergraduate and PG education, fee reimbursement is one of the major schemes. There are 3,000 crores still pending as of today. 3,000 crores fee reimbursement has not been given you know, for engineering colleges and you know several other colleges and all of them are in a severe crisis. The kind of a crisis which is there in the education in Telangana has not been best at no, any point of time. To make uh, my point very clear, KG to, pre KG to PG free education in Telangana has been a fraud, has been a farce of a scheme. It has not been implemented. And then he promised about three acres of land to Dalit farmers, to Dalits. Where is the three acres of land? We have been asking for under the Right to Information Act to you know to how many people you know, the three acres of land has been given. We can count them on fingertips to, to whom you know, three acres of land has been given to uh, Dalis. And then you know, the big scheme, the mega scheme you know, which I talked about, two bedroom house. Two bedroom houses have not come up anywhere in Telangana. Telangana. It has not been given to anyone. Except a you know, couple of bedrooms you know, which have been given here and there. He said you know, every bedroom you know, will cost about, every two bedroom house will cost about you know, 8 to 10 lakh rupees. And he could not promise that. So, fee reimbursement is a total force in terms of uh, it's not been implemented. Then, you know, farmers, farmers loans. The highest number of farmers which have committed suicide in Telangana is the highest in the country, not anywhere else, not in Maharashtra, not in Vidarbha. 4,200 farmers have committed uh, suicides. Another major promise he said, he several times, Mr. Chandrasekhar Rao, who is the Chief Minister of Telangana State, promised that you know, he will create you know, jobs for the young people who passed out from colleges and universities. In the assembly, he made a promise that 1,7,000 jobs are vacant 
he made on the floor of the assembly he made that promise but then the total recruitment which has taken place telangana in the last four and a half years is in the range of from you know, 25000 25000 in tintiki oka kolu istane in tintiki oka job istane adu kuda promise chesinadu he could not implement so when you look at to sum it up he said every house you know, will give a job but some investment you know, he has made in mission bagiratha 42000 crores is the investment for mission bagiratha scope so that you know, he could give water to every house even that has not materialized that has not materialized I already you know several houses have got you no know, tap connection water connection portable water connection but he went about promising 42000 crores he has invested in mission bagiratha and mission kakatiya is another major flagship program of you know, uh, Mr. Chandrasekhar Rao. Initially he said 48,000 crores. Now you know, a lot of re-engineering has taken place, redesigning has taken place, unscientifically he has done so that you know, the government can pay more money to contractors so that you know, they can collect you know, more money. They said initially 48,000 crores, then it became 78,000 crores. Now no one knows you know, what is the estimate. You know, estimates according to someone by the time you know, the project is completed, it will cost about you know, uh, 1 lakh 20,000 crores 20,000 crores so when we look at you know because this is an election year as you know Telangana General Assembly we need to talk about not a single promise he has implemented however Telangana Chief Minister and the TRS government goes about every day saying that we have implemented 99.9 percent .9 of the programs not a single program as we have highlighted in this uh, uh, program has not been implemented that is in other words it's a total failure it's a total failure. Not a single promise has been implemented uh, by the Telangana government. Okay? Yeah. Mana Adhikarika account Telangana Janasamiti Party. Dani ki andar guda subscribers ka kawali. Dani adarin salem kurtuna.